Okay, so we will continue with the solution of problem number one. So this time we will compute for R squared to determine if your regression model is a good fit. So... Okay, so from uh, from the first part of our solution, we were uh, we were able to compute for the a uh, regression model. So this is your regression model. Okay, now we compute for r squared. Okay, using using the following. Okay, so in uh, r squared is the ratio between the this. Uh, residual sum of squares and total sum of squares so, so based on the following quantity so y sub i this is the fitted fitted y okay and that is based on the values of computed values of uh, the coefficients no? so starting with okay the first row so the coefficient uh, sorry okay so the coefficient okay plus uh, the constant rather plus the coefficient of x1 times the value of x1 plus b sub 2 times the value of x sub 2 plus b sub 3 times the value of x sub 3. Okay? And then if we want to copy the formula, so these cells must be fixed. Okay? So select and then we put a dollar sign before the um, before and after you know, the the letter corresponding to the cell. So those are uh, C48. So put a dollar sign here. Okay, C49. C50. Okay, and then C51. And enter. And then you may now move the cursor downward to copy the formulas. So we can check, let's say here. Okay, so we are selecting the fourth a set of values for x for the independent variables and then the um, coefficients. Okay. And then what? Okay, and then we compute for RSS. We that will be okay the difference between this one. Okay, minus y bar. This is your mean mean of y values. Okay, and then quantity squared. Now we have to fix your y bar here or the cell corresponding to the y bar y bar okay and then move the cursor downward and then check okay so again check we're selecting the correct cells okay and then we get the sum sum of okay the column which represents your RSS the residual or rather the regression sum of the squares and then uh, here naman uh, uh, your yi which is the value of y okay minus again y bar okay and then quantity squared and then we need to fix the cell for y bar okay then 
move the cursor downward and then we get the sum uh, the sum of the column for TSS okay now the your R squared is the ratio between RSS so this is the coefficient of determination okay so this is 94.9465 or this is 94.65% uh, good fit 94.65% good fit okay so this indicates the proportion of variation explained by the three independent variables Now we proceed to the next example. An experiment was conducted to determine the compressed strength of a steel at different concentration of some additive. Okay, so you're given for the first column the concentration, and then the second column, your, your dependent variable y, the compressed strength. So, fit a quadratic regression curve, estimate the compressive strength when the additive concentration is at 40%. Okay, so again, I'll be using Excel here. The solution is very similar to multiple uh, regression. Okay, so you're given the values of x. Now, uh, your quadratic equation, okay, the um, regression model would be y is equal to b sub o plus b sub 1 x plus b sub 2 uh, x squared. So, b sub o is the constant term. Um, b1 x is the linear term. b sub 2 x squared is the quadratic term. And then we will find b sub o, b sub 1, b sub 2, okay? Given the set of values for x1 and y. Now, we will be using the multiple uh, linear regression. So, we will take this as your x1, your x, and then your x squared will be considered as x2. In this case, we have three unknowns. So, we will have uh, 3 by 3 normal normal equations so uh, so that this is represented by the following okay so very similar to uh, uh, the multiple uh, linear regression so this is the formula for uh, the normal equations no 3 by 3 for for three unknowns okay so you will take x sub 2 to be your x squared Okay, so we'll be so we have how many points here? Two, four, six sample points, and then we need to get your uh, or the square of x. Repres uh, which represent your or represents your x sub two. Okay, and then uh will be needing the combination no a combination or let's say x uh, x1 x2 your x1 x2 will be uh, x1 so x times x squared so that will be uh, x cubed and then your uh, y x1 will be y x and then your y x2 will be y x squared and then your x sub 2 squared okay will be the fourth okay power of x okay so y 
multiplied by x okay and then your y times x2 which is x squared okay and then product of x1 and x2 um this is your x1 your x2 is x squared then copy this is x to the fourth and then the sum for each row Now we we can compute for the correlation coefficient now of uh, your data. So just use Corel and then array one comma array two. Okay, so this is point fifty eight. So this is not a good reg, uh, linear regression model. No, if your R is not close to uh, positive 1 no, or negative 1. So we can say that the points are nonlinear. And in this case, we represent it by a quadratic, quadratic equation or quadratic polynomial or, or quadratic curve. Okay, so based on your normal equation, okay, so this is... Uh, this is 6. Okay. Your B, uh, sum of X1. This is your sum of X1. Sum of X2. Is this one. Copy. And then this is sum of X1 squared. Okay, your X1... Okay, what is your x1 squared here? So that is x x squared. No? Your x1 squared. So this is x squared. And then sum of uh, x2 squared. So x2 squared is... Um, Okay, so this is your x2 squared. And then your uh, x1, x2. x1, x2 is your x cubed, this one. Then copy. And then sum of y. Uh, this is your sum of y y x1 is this one and then y of x2 this is your y of x2 okay and then we check if the matrix inverse exists so m the term we compute for the uh, determinant of your square matrix this is your square matrix and enter. So this is non, non zero, therefore the matrix inverse exists. So we can proceed to finding the matrix inverse or computing the matrix inverse. So M inverse here. Okay, then select your coefficient matrix and then control shift enter and then we multiply. So this is M mult. Okay, so inverse, select the inverse and then the column of constants. 
and then control shift enter to generate your equation or the uh, coefficient so this is your uh, polynomial okay your quadratic equation representing your nonlinear points so if x is 40 we can predict the value of y so we just uh, substitute so we have the constant plus the coefficient times the value of x plus the coefficient times x squared. And this is the estimated value of y. And you can also check no, you, uh, by finding r squared no, if your quadratic equation curve is a good fit. So that will be left as an uh, exercise.